guys and welcome to my channel time is but a window and today we're gonna to be doing some overwatch as you can see here the suspect's gonna be making his way over here towards middle and peeking out window of course he is staring kind of at the ground and to the side and now it looks like the terrorists are actually taking the a site he's gonna be repositioning over here towards the connector he gets destroyed by lamp but yeah the suspect we can blatantly tell right off the bat using a b-hop script and some kind of anti-aim probably a aim lock as well and a wall hack this time going to go with the auto sniper, able to take down bot Daisy, and yeah, that is plenty of evidence right there. Makes his way over here towards the steps, trying to peek up from the top here, and taking some shots, able to take down Emu, Lamb, and Zigzag. We got plenty of evidence, let's go and report this. Well, as for the first case of the day, it's a pretty easy one. Major disruption, aim assistance, that is evident beyond reasonable doubt. Vision assistance is evident beyond reasonable doubt, and other external assistance is evident beyond reasonable doubt. As for grieving, gonna go with insufficient evidence here, let's move on to the next case. And here we are once again, finding ourselves on D Mirage. As you can see here, the suspect wants to make his way over here towards the window, but it looks like Dalmatian is blocking the entrance. His teammate's gonna shoot him in the face, the suspect's gonna stand on his head, and just kinda waiting for him to go in there. Dalmatian down to, it looks like, 10 HP now. And Banjo's gonna finally finish him off. Suspect's teammate's actually gonna make his way over here towards window. Suspect hits an insane jump. Able to take down Mask, and yeah, at first I thought that it was a griefing case, one of his teammates grieving him, but as you can see, the suspect is clearly cheating, using some kind of script here to make his way over here towards window, and of course, locking onto people through smokes and taking them out. Alright, last terrorist alive, making his way over here from market. Meanwhile, the suspect is just b-hopping all around here backwards and stuff, trying to pretend that he's the best b-hopper in the universe, and gonna take a shot at the wall there. Right, making his way back up the ladder, and I think he's going to try to b-hop across all of this stuff. Yes, able to hit the first jump, drops down, and now going to go for the kill on Husky. Here he goes, making his way over here towards middle. There is a smoke up, going to jump in there anyways, and try to go through there backwards. Not quite able to do so. All right, going to get tagged up here by Grenade. Still going to mess around with some jumps, though. Tried to jump over here towards the top. Not quite able to make it this time. I did make it once earlier. You can see, you can see this guy clearly through the wall, taking shots at him, finally able to finish off Husky. This time making his way over here towards the A site, gonna be looking towards middle, does realize a few guys come up mid, but notice there's one guy pushing out from halls here, from Palace. He's actually able to, uh, finally take him down. Alright, gonna jump up the stairs here, sees a guy right below him, going for the no-scope, able to get the kill onto Delta. And now jumping across the benches, back over here towards the site. And making his way back up on top of Palace. He hopping his way across the site. Donkey gonna kill the last guy in mid. Looks like this round, the suspect's gonna be changing things up. Making his way over here towards middle. Uh, looks like Husky has taken down Dalmatian over here at the A site. Suspect going up the stairs. Gonna spot one out. Tries to go for a jumping no scope. Not quite able to get on target. And get a reposition here. Looking at him through the ground. Taking a shot. Not quite able to connect once again. This time gonna peek out from the right hand side both Husky and his teammate over here boosting up on top. Oh, that almost caught the suspect off guard, but I mean he is wall hacking. Was able to make the adjustment. Gonna go for the jump here to try to take down the final terrorist, but not quite able to do so. Well, the suspect is definitely having a fun time using his b-hop script, and this is actually more entertaining than most of the cheaters I catch. One guy over here on right side of kitchen. Woodpecker is able to take down Husky, other one making his way over there. And is the suspect just gonna shoot him through the wood? Not quite. Coming his way back over here towards the van. Gonna get set up for it, going for some no scopes. And he is on target. All right, gonna reposition towards back of side. It looks like the terrorists here are gonna be falling back over there towards the A site. I feel like they realize they've caused the rotation and they don't need to be pushing over here towards B. Come on, suspect here gonna pull a deagle, gonna go back with that AWP. Keeping over here towards window. Of course, we have confirmed he is wall hacking and using a B hop script. Still not 100% on the aim lock, actually. Able to take down Mask right there through the wood. And it looks like the last two terrorists are going to be falling back over here and making their way over towards A. One guy in window room going to scare the suspect off a little bit there, but he's going to try to go for the re-peek. All right, suspect making his way over here towards Catwalk. Looking over towards sight. Oh, misses the shot onto Sparrow. And gonna drop over here towards Connector. Sparrow planning on the other side of the box. He's just gonna shoot him right through the box. It's gonna leave Violet on the left-hand side. Will he be able to take down Violet? Let's find out. Looks up, misses the shot. And the counter-terrorists win the round. And it looks like Bot Woodpecker is gonna be the one that finishes off Violet. Guys, if you're gonna get banned for B-hopping, you might as well do what the suspect's doing and make it at least look impressive. 
All right, two guys making their way over here through underpass. One guy top mid. Of course, he noticed them through the wall. Takes a shot at him. Trying to reposition up here. Going up the ladder. Not quite able to make the jump he wanted to, but he's going to try again. Still failing it. And it looks like one guy trying to jump in window. One guy posted up here on the left-hand side. Of course, he's set up for mask. Able to get the kill onto him. And let's see if he shoots out the window. It looks like Husky's going to spot him out. Actually shot the other guy. Yeah, that's got to be an aim lock. I don't think he was actually going for that guy. I think he was going for Husky and accidentally locked onto the other guy. So yeah, aim lock confirmed, B hop confirmed, and wall hack confirmed. Last guy over there at the A site. Suspect's going to make his way over here towards window. And he's looking at him through the wall, trying to figure out where that guy is so that he can go for the shot. Not quite able to connect with that one. Try to hop his way back up, misses the jump, hears him in the in connector here, misses the first shot, and going for the re-peak, actually gets taken down by Violet. Alright, one guy making his way up from Palace here, Suspect of course knows he's in there, trying to be all fancy about trying to take him down, not quite able to do so, actually going to bail on it and make his way back over here towards Sight. We got one guy in underpass, will the Suspect go for him or is he going to come back over here and try to go for the guy in Palace? And it looks like his teammate is aggressive, forcing the guy in Palace to fall back. All right, one guy in connector making his way up here towards the A site. Of course, the suspect's going to see him through the wall and take a shot. Meanwhile, Delta is still back there, and the suspect going to hit some hops here, trying to make it look entertaining. All right, one guy on ramp here. The suspect is set up for it. Going to push up aggressive here. Wants to go for that no scope. Misses the shot and gets taken out. Suspect making his way back over here towards the A site. Looks like one guy in palace, one guy out from A main already. He was able to take him down on Tetris. And the suspect here chasing the guy Palace, gonna scope in, takes down Mask. Still got three terrorists remaining. Let's see if he's able to chase them down. Smoke. Two guys made their way through underpass and up here on bottom mid. One guy pushing his way up from catwalk. Suspect's actually just gonna jump out the window and get absolutely annihilated. All right, the suspect making his way over here towards middle. One guy on catwalk, able to tag him in the leg. Gonna drop back here. Violet's able to take down Dalmatian. Suspect takes another shot. And he's going to get on top of the boxes here. Let's see if he makes the jump. No, not able to make the jump. Oh, that's got to be embarrassing for him. Either way, going to make his way over here towards connector. Takes a shot through the wall. Not quite able to get on target. Does make his way up into window. Takes the shot and able to take down mask. All right, guys. Going to go back over here towards window. Misses the jump once again. Knows there's two guys over here at the A site. Bam, headshot onto Violet. One more guy up here on top. And headshot onto Sparrow. Suspect knows where he's at, gonna hop over here on top of the boxes, this gives him great positioning, but he gets tagged down to 32 HP, jumping up, trying to go for the jumping one dig, not quite able to get on target, but his teammate's gonna take him out from behind. Well, I gotta admit that that movement did make that case more interesting than a lot of the other cheaters. As for Overwatch resolution, let's go through this. Aim assistance is evident beyond reasonable doubt. Vision assistance is evident beyond reasonable doubt. And other external assistance, oh yeah, definitely using a B-Hop script, so evident beyond reasonable doubt. As for griefing, going to go with insufficient evidence here. There were teammates of his that were griefing, but he technically wasn't shooting any of his teammates or blocking any of his teammates. But let's move on to the next case. And now we find ourselves on overpass. As you can see here, the suspect's got two kills, seven deaths. Not exactly what I'd call suspicious stats, but he is kind of griefing his teammate a little bit. All right, as long as he doesn't do too much of that, I won't report it. Either way, the suspect here peeking out and going to get absolutely annihilated. Now he's just spinning around here in spawn. Will he be doing this for the rest of the game? I hope not. And it looks like the suspect is, well, well, he stopped spinning. Uh, technically, he's not quite back because he's just sitting here AFK with the bomb. Okay, not AFK. He actually did move. That means he's going to keep holding on to the bomb. It's not just going to drop it. Okay, it dropped it right in spawn. Now, as you can see, one of the counter-terrorists has pushed aggressive. He probably did spot out the bomb. I'm surprised he's just not going to defend it. Either way, the suspect here... Pushing up over here towards Fountain. One CT right behind him. Should take him down any moment now. You know, making his way over here towards Bathroom. Banjo going to peek out. Tags him down to 17. Suspect tries to spray the wall. Not quite able to get the kill. I think Banjo might be cheating. Might uh, Maybe a few guys on the CT team know a little bit too much information. And of course, his teammate just B-hopped over there towards B. But right now, it's just looking like it's possibly a griefing charge. He did grief his teammates by going AFK for a while and spinning around. Of course, he did hit his teammate with a nade and shoot him at one point. All right, going to be pushing his way over here towards long. So far, no cheats have been detected. And to be completely honest, unless he's doing some serious griefing, I usually won't report it. All right, going to make his way over here towards connector. One guy set up and takes him down. So guys, this was most likely a case where he was reported for griefing. The only problem is the guy he was griefing on his team looked like he was bunny hopping around everywhere. All right, so let's go through the Overwatch resolution. 
As for mid description aim assistance, I'm going to have to go with insufficient evidence here. That looked like his natural aiming ability, and he was really struggling against the other team that just so happened to be cheating as well. As for vision assistance, insufficient evidence here. And other external assistance, insufficient evidence. As for griefing, as for griefing, I can understand people going with evident beyond reasonable doubt, but given the current situation, he's playing against cheaters, and he's got cheaters on his team, and he's griefing the cheater on his team. I'm actually going to go with insufficient evidence here. I feel like he was just in a shitty situation. Guys, that's not the best way to handle it. Most people will actually say evident beyond reasonable doubt in a case like this, and you will get a temporary ban because of it. Just given that he's playing with and against cheaters, I can understand his frustrations, so I'm going to give him a pass this time. Anyways, guys, that's today's three cases. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below, and as always, have a great day.